Hi everyone. Hi, I've been booted to the side again. I said, just make not sure digging, you get on your right side. Not digging this time, <laughs> just saying. It's like, it just doesn't feel right. This feels really comfortable for me. <laughs> <laughs> this must be the special side. <laughs> That's a special side. We're going to stand on top of each other. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, we're going to have a fun time today. You know, it's Friday. It's always silly Friday for us because we've had such a hectic week. We've got to really let things loose on Friday. Right. And, and I feel like we're kind of actually talking about sort of a, an important slash serious slash there is specific, serious, but we're going to make it funny. Specific, because it's a specific topic. Oh, this is right. not going to our brains on yeah. Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Friday. Friday. We probably shouldn't do it Monday, but we're doing it today instead <laughs> because we've had a lot of interest in it. But I just want to say, I got to wear my dress, yay! I'm just getting Finally, everyone's comments. I love it. But I also want to say that I did my knot, and look, I don't know about you, but I don't like this little tail hanging out. Can you see that? Oh, I've lost a bit of light. So I just tuck it back in. I just do that. Tuck it. So, and the knot's sort of nice and clean then. Let me see. When, where'd you put it? In here. Oh, the other thing I do is I pull it through really tight. Yeah. And now you're going to be like, don't wreck my oh, knot. Oh, you're wrecking my knot. But then I go and tuck it there, otherwise it might come undone. It hasn't come out all day. Oh, yeah, right. It did. <laughs> well, there you are, okay. Same, same, they're, same. they're both good. Whatever. Whatever. I'm just, Mine's easy. Know, Mine's we've all got our own way, way of doing things, I'm just saying. <laughs> As long as it's a knot, it's okay. Because it looks, you know, nicer with a knot. I'm wearing one with a knot every time. I'm wearing one with a knot every yeah, time. Yeah, I know. Right. We never, I feel like we've never done it before and then it's just... It's just yeah, we can't do without it. Yeah. Okay, now I think we just need to have a little discussion about someone's hairdo. Oh. Because she's really impressed with it and I know you're all thinking, wow, she looks amazing. Is that what you're thinking? I hope so. <laughs> But are, you pretend, are you pretending they're saying that? Yeah, I'm pretending. Okay. Yeah, okay. but you do, it does look good. Well, thank you. But I thought what we could do just quickly before we get started is show you guys about our, you know, it's obviously our face mask, the face put up in a headband, but you can, if you fold it up to make it thin, sometimes it can get a bit tight. So what we thought we'd show you is actually how what Faye's going to do to hers. Yeah. Because she's actually out of here, right? Because as soon as you're done with the mask, and I mean... You can imagine how many masks. Oh, I've still got my mask on. <laughs> Oops, I don't know. <laughs> that wasn't an earring. Oh my god, how embarrassing. <laughs> Get rid of that. Um, yeah, we both have a lot of masks. Bruising bit masks in here. Oh my god, okay. how embarrassing. So sorry. <laughs> Alright, so Faye's going to show you what she does oh, to make this her now. Um, not okay. so tight. Okay, this is my mask, okay? Now you know it's doubled, so what I'm going to do, but I may need some help here. Yeah. On the inside, I'm going to just put a little snip right there. So this is inside out, right? We've yes, turned it inside, inside out. out. And on this edge, I'm just going to go okay. all the way. Don't, I won't cut you, I promise. She said that out. once and then I got a pin. Oh, yeah. That's in right. me. I right? Yeah, I'm going to cut that off. Time. Look, it doesn't even have to be neat, to be quite honest, because it's going to be on the inside and it won't fray. And also, the thing about jersey is that it doesn't fray, so you can do a raw cut. It's okay, I just said that, but that's fine. Well, I'm just reiterating. I, obviously, yeah, I said it's Silly Friday. Okay, and because of the way I'm doing it, it's coming out very wonky, but it won't come out that wonky. Well, it doesn't matter. So what happens, you get sort of like a big hole there, so that you're going to have to help me again. Mm -hmm. I'm waving these scissors around, not a good thing. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut along. Basically, we're cutting the lining out. We're cutting the lining out, but you're only going to go halfway, okay? Ladies, otherwise it's going to be weird. Do this on both sides of the stitch line, and then I'm going to cut that off. So do you want to hold that? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to... Hmm. Oh, okay. Hello, Sorry, it's not that this. glamorous. It's not a glamorous thing, is it? So this is only if you're finding the headband a little bit tight. If you're wearing it all day, you might. Okay, so this, I'm going to try and do it. Look, you know what? Normally I'm brilliant at this sort of thing, but this is pressure. Oh my goodness. And we have special scissors. And we have special scissors, that's right. They're very sharp. So that's what it looks like. So it looks really messy. Normally it'd be nice and straight because I'd match that up. So it's kind of like half the fabric. You want to keep that there because there is no seam on the top. And then what you do, you flip it the other way, of course, the right way around. And then when you fold it over to put it over your head, you can do three folds, one, two, and three. And all that excess is underneath. And you get a band like so, and you put that on. It's really quite easy. There you go. Just do that. Just make sure that all the under pieces are hidden. And you get a great 
headband, which I can easily put on now because it's got a lot more stretch and it's easy and still be very secure. Cool, huh? Okay, I just thought I'd share that with you in case you wanted to know how I was going to do it. Yeah. If it gets too tight in your head, that is. If it doesn't, don't worry. Mm. I actually yeah. don't have a little tiny head. I okay. don't have a tiny head. It's that big brain. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's that big design big brain. That I've exercised, brain. I've exercised in all these years. been thinking so hard. <laughs> I've been designing so hard, that's why it's so big. Okay, fair enough. Oh, anyway, okay. another little tip. So okay, you should be all here now. So should I we hope get started? that. Um, oh, you gonna... can't see anything, Karen. Oh, that was a bit of a drainer. Did I do all that and no one could see anything? No, you could see, yeah, totally. Well, I, I hope know. you could, ladies. Somebody I don't know what you mean, couldn't. Karen. Hopefully you can see us and etc. Alright, okay. so today what we're going to do is we're going to fill you in on body shapes. And the thing that when we were actually creating this capsule, one body shape, it's like you, you, you actually kind of cover a lot of body shapes. Even if you are the column, then you're going to swing a bit to that body shape, to that body shape, and then if you want to do something in the other body shape, there's a way to make everything work. So I'm going to try not to confuse you though. That's our main yeah. thing. But I do want to put it up front in case everyone goes, oh no, I'm not that body shape, but I bought that. Don't freak out because we actually design everything to go for most people. It's the way you put it together that makes the difference. So 100%. it's not actually this is designed for the pear shape because I'm not a pear shape and this is perfect for the pear shape and I think I still look cool and I'm a column. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's just it. bear that in mind mm -hmm. and I think you'll understand. And then after we've shown you all these groups, we will actually mix and match a few of them so that you can see how it's just the way you put it together to suit your body shape. Yeah, definitely. So and, and actually someone in the VIP group mentioned you know, can, can Lauren and Faye do a bit of a thing on customers so we can all learn? But what is the best thing about our phone calls with Kelly and Mary, our stylist, is that they can help you and personalise that to you. So if you need extra help, get a, a phone, a video um, call with them because it's so good. So we'll start. Have you all seen this? We put that in our, I know, isn't the glamorous black and white printing just beautiful? You know, we're not that high tech here. But um, <laughs> basically... This, I don't want you to get... Don't get attached to it. It is mm -hmm. so irrelevant. These are someone else's pictures to describe a rough idea of who you are. I would rip it up and throw it into a million pieces like confetti, but we need to see it. So yeah, we can't we do that right now. Right? We'll do it at the end. Yeah. So <laughs> the way we're going to work it, which I think is really much more empowering for our gorgeous pods, we want to pick out our best feature, and that's really what makes the shape. For example, the pear shape just has a great booty, so I don't want to call it a pear shape. I want to say great booty shape. Great what twerking about that? booty. Yeah, you've yes. got all your nice, um, the, you've got your fat where it's meant to be, yeah. on your booty, and that's a really good thing. I'm going to use the word fat. Don't freak out because people get offended by that word. It is a really important part of our bodies because that's what gives us shape. So I want to actually honour the word fat. Three-letter word, F-A-T. Brilliant. So make sure you don't freak out every time I say that word. You mm. probably already have. But don't. No, don't. Push that away. That's oh. old news. We're going to go into the new thing. So we're going to work with the great booty shape. Oh, we love her. I yeah, actually, booty. I kind yeah, of booty. wish I was a pair. Oh, okay. I just, I just want to be that person. Well, sweetheart, you've got a great booty. I do, but you just, I, I don't know if I'd be in the pair. No, I just want to be the pair. No, I don't. Okay, I don't. No, that's okay. I don't think so, but I love the pear shape, that booty. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's really love sexy. It. Okay, so we're going to start with showing you that. Again, if you've got items that are here or you like items that are here, it's it's very vague, you know, yeah. it's very blurred it, edges. Yes, because it depends on how you put it together, it'll fit who you are anyway. And look, just another thing, when you know this about yourself, like you have got the hot booty, then that's something about your personality. And it actually comes through in the way you dress, and that's what you want to do. So that's why we've kind of picked these out for you. So, shall we start? All right. If you know you're, you're a great booty, let us know. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. And if um, you don't know, that's fine. You'll get there later. You'll get there later. So, Bron is going to pop up links of this pair capsule right now. So, if you want to see the pieces in this capsule, Bron's about to pop up the links. Yeah, so you can see exactly what we're talking about. All right, let's okay, start. Let's start. Okay. Yes. Da -da -da -da. Of course, very similar to the dress I'm wearing. It is. Nice and huggy on the boobs. Nice and drapey on the waist, and then it just flips over those hips. That's really, right. this is the easiest dress to wear, which you can tell from what Faye's wearing. I have yet to wear my black one. I'm very keen to get it on. 
haven't found the right moment. Actually, I did try this on and actually showed a pic and I got so many lovely comments. Yeah, no, it's really yeah. nice. So yeah. bear in mind, I'm not a great booty. In fact, I don't have a good booty. I've you got don't a have a booty. I don't even have a booty. There yeah. you go. I wish I had one. Yeah. Like they say, somebody's going to say that you can give me some of your booty and I'll take it. Thank you. Yeah, and also the other thing, I think, you know, of course this suits the pear shape because you're really showing off your nice little area right here. Lines. Then it's going all flippy. But the thing is, if you've got no bum and you're paranoid about it, well, this dress hides it. You can't even True. tell. You can't tell what I've got under there. So, again, this is I an could example. I say I wore a great booty. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's this dress and it's gorgeous. We love it. Yeah, I love that. So, that's a great staple to have in your wardrobe. Now, we're going to put it back with a few other things because we know that we need to wear three pieces at a time. That's right, and this is a great one. You know how this slims you down because this is a fabulous slinky cardi, and in fact, I could probably put it on, put it on. But this gives you the idea. Actually, if you put it on with your dress, yes, it gives the same idea, won't it? Poor old James getting his lesson. Yeah, James isn't getting she? getting the boot today. The boot, huh? Booty, huh? Anyway, <laughs> James getting the boot tag. All right, <laughs> boot tag. So we got this funny on yeah, Friday. And this is one of the reasons Look why... Look at Kristen. You're back, Kristen. Sorry. Oh, Kristen's I've been back. thinking, where's Kristen been? We are back. Okay. You're back on board. I just want to say a few things. Like, there are some people that say, oh, I can, can I go down a size, up a size, whatever in this? This is super, super stretchy, like we mentioned yesterday. But this is one of the reasons why you want to go for your shape. Because, yes, okay, you can go down a size, but you, if you had the hot booty, it'd be too stretched on your booty. You don't want that. Because then they'd say, oh... There's that pear shape. Instead of there's that great booty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's a pear. She's yeah, been that's right. Pears. Now look at yeah. this. Doesn't it look fabulous? So basically yeah, it the same. It looks just as good well worn tight, actually, just as good as worn loose. It's one of those things. I really love that. Oh, love it. And see those vertical lines going up. Well that suits anyone because it just gives the eye. Oh my God, look at that amazing face. Yeah. That's what you want. I mean, in general, unfortunately for us, We've been brainwashed into the hourglass figure being the hot bod. Well, I guess you can say I have an hourglass figure. You'd never know, would you? That's Nobody right. would know what we That's are right. under here. Yep. It's yep. all an illusion. Smoke and mirrors. Oh, I'm okay. sorry to hear that, Kristen. I hope she's okay. We're sending our motto, sisterhood love, to Kristen's mum. Oh, yes. Everyone send your energy. Everyone send a kiss. Mwah. Mwah. Okay, so that's that. Now, the other thing, the other jacket that's really, really great, and we're going to talk about this a lot. We didn't know if we were just talking about this jacket so much, but you can, you know that we've got a bit of a secret hotspot for the Cisco Blazer. Uh, we have because it looks so good on everybody, okay? That's why. Like we've said before, we actually do design, excuse me, for most shapes, and it's just about how you put it together. So, there we go. Something now this, like that. Yeah, this puts you back into balance. It puts a bit of lightness up here where you're probably a little bit on the slimmer side. You probably have got smaller boobies compared to your booty. So this is what it's doing. This is just balancing it all up by having the light here and the heavier colour down here. Yeah, totally. And imagine and still giving you a waistline. Imagine if you had a fae like a fae like figure. Oh God, you'd be very boyish. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Imagine if you had a shoe like Faye's got on. Oh my God, I'm going to make so many mistakes today. It's Friday, that's, that's all right. right. Okay, whatever. You know, and we've been, working, so we've been working seven days a week for quite a few yeah. months now for some reason because we can't do anything else. <laughs> this is where I get to hang, you know, hang out the family because they're all working here. We love it, that's yeah. right. Yeah, so I'm a bit brain dead. Um, if you had a shoe like Faye had on, that would take this outfit into funky, edgy town. If you had a sneaker, or a sneaker boot. on, what about one of these boots? Uh, that is a bit more classic. I think that's perfect for your classic girl. So you can see how these outfits also like blend in with personality types. That's cool. I love that. And that's, that's unexpected as well. Hundred percent. You may not be this personality because if you're a classic, you probably want to do this. Both very, very cool. And really mine cool. is super edgy. Love you know, it. So yeah. you want to pick out. What really appeals to you? That's exactly right. And you'd be doing your sneaker when, you know, we're in a bit of ISO moment, no matter where you live. We're probably not quite where we were this time last year. But then when we do get out on the town, that's when you're going to put your funky you're shoe. Put your, you're going to put your boots on and maybe Absolutely. go something like this. Yes, that's right. That's right. If, right. You're, if you're that edgy type now, or whatever. the other thing, if you're a pair, I think that blazer, we always say don't do it up. But if you're a pair, you're going to look so hot with that thing done up. That's right. Yeah. 100%. So, you know, it's all... 
It's all part of it, isn't it? It's all part of it. And you know what? I've got that. And I definitely am not a pair. I'm going to say I'm it's veering me. down the column road. Who wants to have had children? Do we bear? We, yeah. we, we lose the little sound of us seems to go well, up a little bit, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Like, I think we maybe we all start off as an hourglass because everyone's, everyone's. I remember going to the store one day and the lady said, Oh, yeah, I used to only be, you know. 18 inches around the waist or whatever. But life goes on, that may be when you're 15, you know what I mean? Yes, so yeah, your body yeah. does change Once and it's okay to change. change. Yeah. It has to change. No, but it's amazing it to, to change. We grow these That's amazing right. and, things and in us. And embrace every moment of that. 100%, 100%. Yeah. Okay, so did we, did we move on? Yep, moving on. Okay, so we picked out a pair, we picked out the cargo for the pear shape, mainly because we love our booty so much. We really love booty. This pant is for everybody, okay? I'll put it out there. But for the, for the, um, lovely booty shape it's got the volume in here and it's still got a bit of interest down there so it kind of balances out your leg a little bit absolutely and being black it also slims you down a tad and then if you want to do a soft front tuck with this top this top is the ultimate pear shape I think because actually the top's a bit pear shaped when you think about it really <laughs> it nice. is it's, it's a pear, pear shape like it's a pear shape it's, it's got yeah. a mouth down there and that's exactly where you want to slim it's it's down it's a pear top yeah so, so on the high side we do the tuck yeah but you know what, I've got this top and I love it. And this is the top I always pick for. You lost weight and I'm not a pear shape. So again, works always. That's right. It's fabulous. So hang on to that for a moment. And then I thought I'd actually add this there. Again, I to get your slimline yes. effect. And it's all hidden under there. You don't know who you've got hiding in there. That's yeah? exactly right. But you know what else I love about this? And I don't know if this was intentional when Faye was picking the outfits. But I think an outfit like this on a pair, what you're doing is you've got this really bright, bold colour saying, hey, look at me, I've got confidence up top. And then your pant, still stylish, still cool if someone's taking a good look. But for someone who's just glancing at you, they're seeing all what's up top, which is normally what you really want to show off and you're proud of. Well, you just want to give a little bit more volume up here. That's what we're talking about. Um, by the way, I said hiding. That's not what I meant. What I meant was it's all an illusion, okay? Just... Be mindful, it is Friday, so my words may come out back the front, which is not good, is it? Now, Karen, you've asked Faye about her favourite topic. Oh, Everyone right. just go and take hang 10. Have a cup of tea while I just... We're just going to talk about something. It's your hair. It's about your hair. She's okay. saying, do you use a curling one because her hair's curly? No. This is natural. There's a whole system for curly hair, let me tell you, because after... when I, I used to have straight hair. When I got my curly hair after chemo and all that stuff, I had to discover a whole new way of being and I followed the curly girl method and what I do now, I found the secret to giving my hair life anyway, everyone else will be bored I know, but I'll just slip it in quickly, um, jojoba oil, about a cup full and a cup full of uh, a really good quality, no silicone, all those bad things, conditioner, mix them together and leave it in your hair overnight. Do that every week and you kind of get a better looking hair because I'm so dry, I'm like a prune, ladies. So what's what's that curly hair method you said? Is it's it a curly hair method. So do the curly, curly hair method. And you get all the info you need. Curly and hair people are like, they're in like yeah, their own they're group of their own. Yeah, they yeah. really are a group of their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's in that group now, yeah. I'm not in the group. Yeah, that's right. And I, that my is. hair does not touch anything artificial. It doesn't touch uh, dryers. It doesn't touch anything. It is so natural. And it's taken me so long to get it like this. But I also have a curly girl cut, which means to give it a little bit of shape. Otherwise, I look like an old lady. My God, it is so easy to look bad when you've got curly hair, you know? One day, we'll do a public Maybe service we'll do a to our VIP group on curly hairs. Great idea. So I, I might leave it there. Just look up the curly girl method. Because you know it's my favourite topic. I might take an hour. So I better stop right now. Lauren's yeah. told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Come on, no one cares. All right, Karen cares. That's all right. I've got straight hair. Sorry, Karen. That's what I want to know about. The straight hair. Right. The straight hair, ladies. Don't care. Okay, so we'll go back to this. So put a bit of shine. Okay, so it's still black and solid down below. Put a bit of shine up here to bring the eye up. So you're not focusing on your, oh, mind you, I'd love to just show off a booty. But you need to balance yourself. You so need to balance. brings out the top area a little bit more and I actually throw I'm throwing this with a bit of yellow just because it throws the eye up again you know what I mean and that angled line I think it just does something really nice down here and I think it really works for the pear shape I want to see this booty shape I want to see this with the Cisco jacket and I think I'll do, do that as well runners. I was going to do all of those I just let you know I was going to do that Oh, are you? Okay. It's okay, I'm teasing you. Oh, I said I'm first. Teasing you. I said you first. It's me. You do. And that's the oh, same I'm in thing. the race. That does the same thing. It's sensational. And with a pair of sneakers, how good is this so outfit? Cool. I won't so have the sneakers because I can't do it now. So I'm on the, yeah. It's a bit... But you know what else? A pair of sneakers, super cool for now. 
but equally super cool, a pair of great, almost strappy or dainty heels oh, yes. is this outfit because it remember is. cargos and heels are really big. Kylie started it when she did that film clip. That's right. But and it's, a cool. it's coming back. It's cool. For summer, you don't want to do it now. Now we're still in our boots, but you know, later on we'll, we will move. Mm -hmm. So we're done with this one? Done with this one. Jane, I've just seen you've asked about the crew neck Bella. Personally, I think size down. Not necessary. I've got a 10 and then I also have an 8 and I kind of wish I had the 8 in both. You want it a bit I'm wearing the 8 and I'm an 8. So I guess you can see there's still plenty of room in all yeah. this. In all the fabrics, they're super stretchy. So it's about how tight you like it around your boobies and around shoulders. They are made to fit in the right size. You're not going to be a bigger shoulder than what you are, Jane. So just wear it to size. But Jane, I think go a 12. If go a 12, then. What's my opinion? It's more, it's, it often becomes more about your height. And Jane, this little, case. Little, if you're, a little, you're a little munchkin like us. Yeah, if you're a little munchkin, go down yeah, size. Yeah, you're a munchkin. All right, we didn't show this though. Oh, no, so should we just take You know what? The other back. thing. Put this on. Oh, no, you don't, you don't no, want to put this on, do you? I do. I do. Why not? Because you feel like it's a bit too long for you. Oh, look, it does look a bit long, but I think in a dress. You know what? I'll get away with it, ladies. This is the other ultimate pair shape perfecter but actually it suits all shapes because everyone who puts this jacket on as well okay. just like, that top, like oh my god you know it's a bit big on me and it's a bit long but you know it still gives you an idea on everyone else you'll be a beautiful me those lines the way Slimming. that's cut turn around and, and it gives you these back. peaks here so that's flattering nice definitely and then turn around and never wear this shape. i think it's too long and too big for me but it's beautiful shape yeah beautiful shape a lot of ladies who've come in are like, oh, how, to many, die for. how many do you have and what's every colour and I want them all. That's right. And we do have a few of them. Yep. You've got oh, them. I've got to say, stop. they have suited everyone. I'm just too tiny, that's all. It's just not my thing. Sorry, Bron. Bron said go your normal size. I mean, go your normal size. We would say the Bella dress is always your normal size, but then I realised that I picked up an 8 instead of a 10 and then I liked it. It's just so confusing, isn't it? Yes, okay. but look, there's a thing about a dress. Sorry, ladies, I'll just explain when we're saying about go your, your size. That is what we want you to do. But it's also a proportion thing. We're tiny tots, so we can go down a size because it's stretchy and get away with it. I mean, you could be a size 16 and wear 12s if you're only five foot tall, if it's stretchy, because it's about the proportion. I don't know how, I do know how it works. It's too complicated to explain, <laughs> but that's just how it is. But if you're six foot tall, go your size and went down a size, you'd look crazy. You're probably better off going up a size, even though you're that size, you understand? Now you really, I have. So just, just go, go your size. size. Go your size, but Jane, you're getting, getting a 12 because I know you, Jane. I just know Jane better than I know anyone else. <gasps> oh, um, we're trying to make things simple, but like one thing leads to another, which leads to another. Sorry, ladies. Okay, Cheryl wants to know what this jacket is called. Cheryl, it's called the Cable Layer Me Up Jacket. Also comes in mint and a variety of prints. So if you search layer me up, you'll see all the options. They're all the same cut, super they're fluttering. Cool. And they're all cool and they're all stretchy. Really fluttering. All right, let's keep moving. Someone asked if we've had wines today. <laughs> Maybe. You know what? We're high on life. It's Friday. We've yeah, had an amazing life. week. We've had all these lives. We have fun. I love my hair. That's put me on a high. And I, 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 I really love like right? my outfit today too. That's right. The way you dress gives you such a feeling, I've got to say. You know, like yesterday, I didn't like my outfit, ladies. I thought I was ordinary, and I wasn't me. That's yeah, why I know what? That's why I had lost I, it with that cape. I couldn't. I, couldn't I feel. Put the cape I, on. I think I could put the cape on. There you I go. Like actually, I, my outfit yesterday wasn't. I wasn't vibing deeply with it. No, I wasn't tired, Jane. I just didn't like, didn't my, outfit. like my outfit. Yeah. Simple as that. It affects every part of you, and you may notice that about yourself too. Clothing, I mean, that's why I feel I do something for the planet with clothing because clothing is such a, a part of your brain function. It's amazing. Totally. Well, totally. Okay. So, okay, so there's your pair little capsule. Did you so, this in the pair? No, that was in this one. Okay. I'm just moving on. Just, 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 just move on. Right. There's a line. Just okay. move. There's a line. Don't line cross it. Didn't see. Okay. okay, so that is your pair. Now, obviously, everything comes in a bunch of other colours. We couldn't show you every colour of everything. We'd confuse you. But you'll see the other colours online, but you can, you get in the general shape, right? Roughly everyone, everything starts off like that and then it kind of goes like that, round about. Yes, Jane, the colour does the same thing, you know, just puts you in the wrong mood or whatever. Clothing is that. Maybe mm. even the wrong makeup, the wrong hairstyle, the wrong shoes. It's just a small part because we're just such sensitive beings. Mm. And I think it seems to come out more as you get older, probably because you're not as pretty as you were. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I look at my daughter and I 
think she's beautiful and I've lost it. Anyway, I'm really. I'm just That's funny. mucking around because it's Friday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had a pretend wine. It was actually tea, but you know. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to show you outfits that are suited to a column. And me and Faye have decided that we have very different body shapes, but I think that we are in the column basket. So yes, the athletic shape. We're athletics. But I'm athletic. so not athletic. I'm, a, I'm athletic. Well, what athletic I've never done in the exercise? Yeah, but look, I'll explain what athletic is. You know, we know the great booty, bang the pair, is a great booty. The weight goes on your booty if you're going to put on weight, right? Well, with the column, your weight goes everywhere. Yes. It doesn't stop in one area. Yes, you know yes, what I mean? And great, generally... Great. That's a great description. Yeah, it kind of goes, you know, all over the place. But yes. the one thing that it does do is you kind of start off with a slightly bigger waist than everyone else in this group. So it's not that you've got a big waist and it's not that you're anything extraordinary, but your waist is just a tad thicker. That's just why they call it a column. Bit. So you kind of look a little bit more straight, okay? So that's who we are. If any of you are out there, just say so and we'll, I don't know, we'll be in the column. Uh, that's me. Yeah, that family. That's all right. in the that's column. Show. Okay, yeah. great. So, and actually someone had asked and it just skimmed by how to do a knot. We're going to do the knot at the end. You sure? Don't let us forget. We've got another dress at the end, so we'll do it on the yellow garment yeah, so where you can see it. Because the black is a bit harder. Yeah. yeah. Or actually, you know what? Let's do a knot vid. We'll knot video and we'll post it now. Oh, VIP group. group. So yeah. join the VIP join group. Join the VIP, we'll, we'll do it there. now. We'll do it but in a moment. Uh, like when we finish. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so oh, the column. So Perfect the example of the column is da, the hat I'm wearing. Da, 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 da. Yes. There's the black. So there's the black version, and it's long but same difference. So it's fairly straight, you know, and that's perfect for the front tuck. Now, front tucks are great with everybody, but it's perfect for us guys because we don't have an, a, a very small waist, and it kind of makes your waist look smaller. So on all of you that need a, a smaller looking waist, this mm. is the one. And I think you with know? a front tuck as opposed to a side tuck, a side tuck we can talk about what shapes that suits. Mm. But I think with a front tuck, what we want to do is actually give the illusion of where our waist is. But because I've got the sides hidden, you don't know what's going on here. You probably think that I'm this real hourglass Ooh. shape, but it doesn't even matter. She I might be under there. I she might just be. might be. But because I've got this, what is going on here? I feel like I'm a bit all over the shop actually. Um, then you can, yeah, so I've got just this little part showing because I want to create that waist, which I actually don't have. So if you're thinking, I can't wear that pant, I don't have a waist, neither do I. Now, we didn't put this garment in the column because Lauren was wearing it, but because there's puff up here, a bit of a front tuck here, it creates a bit of a baggy, floaty pant. You see, we're creating an hourglass shape, but really, we're just yes. straight up and down. You are, yes. Yeah. So I've got my shoulders going on, coming in at the waist because of this. Then it's going back out at the bottom. Oh, Rome's a tall con. Exactly the same as you, darling. You can just wear longer things and more layers and so on. to totally. get to it. Totally. And this pant would be perfect for you, whereas Lauren has... Oh, hang on. They're both cropped. Okay, we've got a long version as well. Yeah, we'll show you that. That's another one. That's another one, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you can wear it too. Okay, so we'll start with the pant. So again, the same deal here. You can do the front tuck. And again, it's silky. I mean, we've chosen the dark here, but you can wear it either way because you're fairly straight up and down. Where you put your dark and light doesn't matter if you're a column. Whereas in the pear shape, you probably wouldn't wear white pants if you're going to really show your beauty. It's probably better you wear your white on top because you want to balance yourself up. Okay? In general. In general. Well, like, just say, in general. And you know what? If you want to wear white pants, you've got a great beauty. Who cares? Just yeah, because it. you know what? I feel like Kim Kardashian, she actually... Yeah. She looks... She's an hourglass. She, she, she hasn't done much for the world, really, let's be real. But what she has she, done is she has bought the booty, booty back, totally yeah. back because everyone pre Kim Kardashian, the in the fashion world, it was about who could, like the it was about being skinny, which is ridiculous, right? But the Kim yeah. Kardashian, who she, wants to be skinny? She stopped that whole trend with all our children that are now wanting to have a big juicy butt. That yeah. I want to have a no butt. Yeah, and she isn't an hourglass. I bet. She's got more in there than you can see. She just knows how to work. Oh, yeah, 100%. Right. So she may be a pear shape. She may be a pear shape. And sure. she's probably had a bit of enhancement. I think she's had several enhancements. I think she's had several enhancements before hourglass. We won't talk about that because we're not doing that now, are we? Although I've had them, but that's because of cancer. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> so with that, what are we doing here? The column. That's right. So again, by adding a Cisco blazer, this one here does give us a bit more of an hourglass line. That's why Lauren and I love it. Again creating that shape. Absolutely. Just love that. Yeah. So you can see, these outfits, we've done it. 
But you can see these outfits actually aren't so different to the pair we showed you before. And when we get from one extreme to the other, you're going to notice the outfits are not that different. It's just the way you put it together. That's all it is. Yeah, it's not even about what you buy. It's just how you put it together. So we'll put this aside for my yeah. own. So the Cisco blazer is a really good one if you do want to create a waistline because you can wear it undone and then you've got the collar doing a really big angle there, a really big angle there. So if you wear a very dark colour or the, something like the yellow, a very strong colour against something like this, it's your colour underneath that's going to shine through and really create that silhouette. That's right. Okay. Oh, I like oh, these actually, Sorry, I'm going to put this one out okay. first because... I just want to say, this actually also gives you a bit of shape because it gives you more of a bust line. Remember when Lauren tried on yesterday and she really brought out her boobies there and to give her that. shape. So it gives her more of an hourglass shape even though she's quite a column because she's got a thick waist. Can I say that? Well, everyone knows now. We all know now. She's got a thick waist, like a mother, okay? <laughs> yes, so, so that's what this is. <laughs> but I've also got a bum. She oh, does yeah. I yeah. used to have one once upon a time. Just I used to just shrink. <laughs> It's like a, it's a very, very light sort of silvery grey. How can I look at this jacket? Yet. I'll just hold it there because the, the screen is making this check go funny. Your eyes are probably going a bit goggly eyed, so I shouldn't put it there too long. But this silky shirt, and this just creates a lot of white up here and dark down there. And because of the shape of the jacket and the buttons, we're creating oh, a bit of an out. I need to show to my like I did. <laughs> like it got good ones on, right? Um, yeah, a bit of a, an hourglass shape with that. So I think that, that I love it. I love it. I love the collar up here. Creates a bit more up here. Just everything's just giving exactly. Shape. And even the neckline of the Sydney and the blogger, and they're, they're similar ish neckline. Sydney and the blogger, just showing you the differences there. That's right. Having that whole, all those different lines going down the front of your neck is so flattering. It sort of sets the tone. The eyes going up and down. You want those eyes always looking up and down. You don't realise that's what you do when you look at someone. That's right. Yeah, so now getting back to this is one of our favourite looks. A nice big cardi with a slinky cami underneath. I know you can't wear it yet because it's probably a bit cold in Melbourne. Maybe somewhere else you can. Don't know. Somewhere else around Australia. And that gives us that same illusion. You've got that beautiful column there, but because of that that cami bringing out your bosies, you get a bit of an hourglass shape in there, even though you don't realise it. Mm, absolutely. And the, the belt, I mean, you could always have a fancy belt. That's one reason why, actually, Lauren often wears her fancy buckled belt, because it creates the illusion of, yes, I've got a slim waist. You haven't got this big, fat thing going all the way around your waist. Mm. You've just got that nice feature right in the middle, which makes your waist quite small. Actually. And actually, that's why we have often said in the past, don't do a belt all the way around on the outside. You want to hide where it is in the back, like what I've got with my belt, like yeah, I've got my top hiding everything. Front. If I had a belt on the outside of this top, oh, it wouldn't be a good look, trust me. I've tried. That's right. Doesn't yeah, we've tried it all. We've we tried definitely tried it all. I love that. That, that outfit yeah, that is such a me gorgeous, outfit, isn't it? Well, it is. And that with sneakers. Yeah, that's right. That's so nice. Sneakers. Absolutely. So and then you just have to change your jacket when you want to go dress. Yeah, we're not pulling out too many sneakers. Look at that. So cool. How groovy is that? 100%. Yes. Actually, I've got to say, the first time I wore these culottes with... um. Runners, I, I in, internally I didn't feel quite right, but then as we've been showing them, you've grown to love them, grown to love them, yes. and now you're never going to see me in a heel with these collars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's Raylene saying? Try to, um, okay, I think we've missed something on the yellow. No, okay. um, what you've got to do, look, if it's not your colour, ladies, wear your best colour with it. So I can do yellow. If I wear it with a bright blue or something, what have I got that's bright blue? And I'm very cool. Yeah. Oh, that's probably got a little bit of yellow in it. I'm not, I haven't got anything that blue here. And I could do that and maybe, I don't know where these are going to come from now. I'm not going to get mixed up. You could do that because there's enough cool. Oh, I could do this because there's enough cool in there to balance me out. You know, or you'd wear your blue shirt with your yellow jacket over the top and still your navy pants. So that way you balance your colouring. You don't have to change your, your, your makeup, in my opinion. No, no, I think the makeup needs to stay with what works for you. But also, we've got so many different tones of yellow. Maybe when restrictions are out, if anyone lives in Melbourne, you can come in for a shop and you can actually look at all the different yellows. Because this one is a bit more on the chartreuse side, I think. This is very gold. And this, yeah, and this here. That's a, and that's quite a light yellow. So that's a very, very light one, yeah. Different shades. Yeah. Because we also used to think we couldn't wear yellow until you kind of get it 
work. Yeah. That's what you've got to do. You've got to know how to wear it. Exactly. But yeah. also, just go the other colour if it's too hard. Well, there's oh, that's right. There's plenty of colours for you, isn't there? Okay. Uh, so we haven't talked about the skirt. We haven't talked about the skirt. So I thought that we would yeah, grab that. That's really nice. You know that I love to wear the skirt. So now you can see all the outfits I wear, where they come from, because you're looking at it right now. Look at that. And you would, never thought, that. you would never have thought that... You would have always looked at Faye and said, oh, yeah, but she's got a great bod. Or she could wear anything. That's the usual thing that's I get. No, that's it's not true. Things that are right for she me. just knows how to work it. So, but Faye will wear anything. She'll just make it work for her. If she, like, she would never have thought she could wear yellow. She wears that yellow bella dress. She loves it. That looks... She looks hot. It looks hot. It looks hot. She's going to wear her grey bo gray boots. And it's yellow. Have a look at my makeup today. Oh, my God, you might get it right me coming up so close. I've got this... Plum lipstick on, so I'm quite pink. So with the yellow, it works. It looks fantastic. Now Samantha's just asking, how do you know if you're a cool or a warm, and can you be both? Yes. But or you could be a neutral. Yes, right? that's right. You can be you're warm, cool, or neutral. There's heaps of stuff on YouTube. But if you like, we'll focus one of our lives on that. Mm. Some other time, it's too complicated to do all in one hit. Yeah, maybe next time. Right. Yeah, I know you want both, you want those questions answered, but it's too big. Uh, a topic to cover in one hit, you, you, you blow your mind really. So I want to take one step at a time and we'll eventually cover them all. Just keep watching. Yeah, yeah. but I think you know what, the bottom line as well, if you like colour, trust me, it's your colour. That's, that's right. And if you're unsure about a colour, it probably isn't. The big secret here is if you uh, want to try yellow because it's an in colour and you're seeing it on everyone else and they're fabulous, learning how to make it for you, make it work for you. That's, that's right. the, the secret. It's not about whether it's your colour or not. Yeah, you know, because you know what, black is not my colour, but I wear head to toe black all the time and I love but it. She looks off. You're just going to make right. sure, I just have to make sure that I've got a bit of neck showing or a bit of wrist showing or a bit of ankle showing. I need a bit of skin. Mm. You've been saying that, I'm always head to toe covered. Yeah. <laughs> See, it doesn't um, matter. Yeah, okay, so we're looking at this. And I love this with, oh, actually, you know what I love this with? Can everyone hear me down here? I'm crawling around. I'm always crawling around the floor. Anyway, I love it with slides. Love that. Love How cool that. is that? Absolutely. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Absolutely. Love it. So I think the key here is that if you've got some sort of a, like your jacket really needs to, if you can get the Cisco, it goes like that, instant hourglass, then wear what you want, right? Pretty much, yeah, as long as you get your colour or you have your colour underneath. That's right. Okay, so I think we've done that group now. We've done that group. We can so probably then, still do other combinations, but I think we, we can't blow your mind. Yeah, we can do a million combos, but you know what, at the end we'll pop all the outfit posts um, within our VIP group and we'll do all extra outfits because again, you can wear any pair. If you're a column and you really want to create a waist, wear that with anything. It doesn't matter. You can wear it with that dress. You can wear it with this top. You can wear it with my top. It doesn't matter. Are we okay, ready? I'm just looking at what Jane's saying, that she's a neutral. Neutral, lucky you. What neutral actually means is that you can go either way with makeup. So when you want to go pink makeup, you've got to do the cool thing. When you do it with a warm makeup, you've got to do the warm thing. That's your secret. Okay, but again, we'll do that another time. Too much information, Jane. You'll fall off your chair. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's it. All right, yeah, we don't want to bombard you. That's why we've avoided doing something like this because yes. there's so much more than what we can yeah. say. Like, as soon as you give a bit of information, you get a hundred questions from it. We love it, but then it's going to go on for, oh, God, one hundred hours. Yeah, it's a weekend. We'll be here yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. We're good. We have to do it another time. Okay, so the next one is Apple. But guess what we want to call Apple? Da -da 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 -da. Hot legs. Great legs. Yeah. That's what you are. Apples all have amazing legs, don't they? Amazing legs. Yeah, because if you don't have amazing legs, you're not an apple. That's the whole thing. Yes. Got that? That's yes. right. That's so, right. hot legs. Yes, bronze and apple. We love yeah. your legs, bronze. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. we have to say it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to the... So, if you've got great legs, the easiest thing for you to do is to make sure all your drama happens on your legs, which means you want to show them off as much as possible because they're hot. And I don't mean where, you know... Your mini skirt up here. Uh oh. No, what you want to do is wear beautiful patterns around your legs. Yeah. Hot jeans. Even cargos. That's great right. Colours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All on your legs. Don't put the pockets down, down there. there. Pockets down there. Even a really loose, even a pant even like this, this yes. still works, right? Because all the attention is going down here. Yeah. Make sure you send the eye from everybody looking at you. We're to totally going to call your hot legs bron. That's your new name. <laughs> that's yeah. Yeah. Just hot legs. We're going to need bron. Dish the bron. That's right. Yeah. Just. just Go for those things. Now uh, you may think, now look, I'll just say something with the pair, the column. I mean, even myself, I keep saying, oh, look at this thick waist. You know, if I do the wrong thing, you'll see my thick waist that doesn't look great. If somebody has a big booty, yeah. big booty, a great booty, and they're wearing the wrong things, I'll be going, oh, my booty. 
And this is what often happens with Apple. They say, oh, you know, nothing is good about me. You don't realise what an asset you have. You have to understand your asset girls and put them on show. Put them on show because you know how much I would love to say I've got great legs? Everyone wants what everyone's got, right? So just make it work. Ours are too short so, to be great, love. Ours are too short to be great. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, there's no short to happen. Yeah. It's like P. We need a P size. Okay, great. Yeah, great. That's right. So you've got great legs. You I'm do sure have great legs too, I remember. Yeah. So we're just going to call you. I'm not going to call you apples from now. I'm going to call you great legs. I should have put hot legs. That would have been good. But I think I've got hot somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so we'll start with all our printed pants, ladies. Don't worry about the length, don't worry about the style, as long as there's something fancy, they're you. Absolutely, I love that. And look, maybe in general, you want to actually avoid a pant possibly like this. Mm. Because I think a pant like this, you want to wear really high-waisted to create that waist, but that's probably going to feel a bit uncomfortable for you. So I think something like that, you want to show off all that way down, you don't want to really hone in here, you want to hone in all there. Yeah. And then it doesn't matter. What happens up here? In fact, a lot of our pants are very stretchy up there. We can wear them. They can be, I don't know, can I use rolls? Up above the roll, below the roll, whatever. The leg. Whatever it is. Just hide your leg. Just, yeah, and you've got the zips, you've got everything. Everything we do in pants is made for hot legs, I reckon. Absolutely. Great legs, yeah. And you know what I find? The reason, actually, that we've mentioned that as well is I find that a lot of the apple-shaped women are one size on their legs and a different size on their Actually, you know what, can I say? Everyone is. It's not even worth saying. Every single person yeah, doesn't measure perfectly. It's not worth talking about. I guess yeah. you have a little bit more bulk in the middle than the other groups. That's mm -hmm. all. Just a little bit more bulk. So yeah. if you understand that, don't worry. And if something is tight on your waist, it's expected. Because your exactly. waist is bigger than the, exactly. average, than the average mannequin that we put our, you know, stick our pins and our fabrics on. That's all it is. Yeah. Okay, so we've got this pant and okay, we have great. many of these. You know what? If you're an apple shape and you do not own 17,000 of these everyday shirts, go get, out and get them. Get rid of the rest of them. Yeah. Check yeah. them out. Trust me. Trust me. Being recently pregnant, I know. And yeah, I well, you were an apple shape you were pregnant. I know. Most people are <laughs> saying get that. I was a real apple shape when I was pregnant. Just after I had the baby, still had, you know, still kind of there. Doesn't matter. You need this shirt in as many colours as you can. That's a security tag, looks awful. Sorry about oh, that. Oh, damn, I didn't take it off. I try to take them off, but sometimes I miss them. Yeah, so what you want to do, you know, the half tuck, whatever, it doesn't matter. The full, the little knot down here, just loose, whatever it is. You can wear a cami under that. I don't know if I actually picked a cami for that one, but I will grab this one. You can do any sort of a cami, and it can be a tight cami, a loose cami, it doesn't actually matter, any of our jersey basics are great. Yeah, we do have other camis coming, so you'll be able to use them, but you can actually, oh, I was going to undo, yeah, I was going to undo a few buttons okay. just to give you a bit yeah. of buzzy. Because what you're trying to do is create shape so that nobody says, there goes that apple. All they say is, ooh, hot legs, hot, uh, yeah, hot they, boobies even. They go, oh my ooh, god, ooh, she's got the best legs. That's 100%. right. Yeah. So, I'm trying to undo this button yeah, right so I want to maybe show a little bit of cleavage here because my guess is if you've a bit of an apple, you probably have generous boobies. Yeah. Just yeah. guessing, just guessing. Yeah, I think so. In most cases. In most cases, that's right. Sorry, I'm just so trying to undo. Probably, just so that we can see that. Oh, oh my can't God! See it. One, oh, hand. one hand is so awkward. And the fabric's isn't it? really silky, so my hands are So they keep moving. Somehow okay. my hands are. Look, I'll do that. that, just so you can see a bit of boobie there and the leg coming out here, and you can either do a half tuck. Or nothing, just leave it hanging like so. Mm, you know, absolutely. wherever you feel comfortable. But that's a really pretty look, isn't it? It's so nice. So pretty. Yeah, and you look like so stylised. Mm, it's that's gorgeous. Right. You're not just thrown together, you are actually put together. 100%. Now, what shoes are we wearing? Oh, Might as well go to full haul. Well, I can't. My guess is an apple shape probably has long legs, but not always. If you've got short legs, you've got to do a heel. Otherwise, you do something yeah, like nice. this. Yeah, nice. Love the slides. Really nice. The slides Love are very, the very classy and stylised yeah. with this look. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, great. Um, Kristen just asked when our new camis are coming. Um, starting from next week. Starting yeah. from next week, yeah, that's right. And this, this cami is also about to come out in gold, if it's not out already. That's it right, the next cami. Right? Yeah, so we introduce them week by week, actually. We can't do them all together. There's too many yeah. to, do, to do it like that's that. That's right. And you'll get bored. Yeah, okay. So that so is just, a really, really great Actually, just hold that, because what might be nice over that, oh, might even be this. Now this design, if you don't have this shape and you're an apple, it is a winning shape. You've done in many different fabrics. This is the swing coat and it's 
just right for you girls, just right. It's got that button there just to give you a slim line. It's got the shaking, it's got all the right things. And if you don't want something so heavy, it also comes, we don't have one here, it comes in the ripple fabric. If you search ripple swing coat or ripple swing jacket, that is an awesome one to wear with all these and it's a bit lighter. This is not that heavy, but if you live in a hot climate, you'll probably want something lighter. And it has that shape, it's got shape that actually slims you down because they're all angles. And look at that, and this is that pant that just goes with every pattern. And that's what you want. You want something like this. Again, the focus is on the white in the centre, as well as your legs, and this just slims you down up here, mm -hmm. and you've got all the focus on your hot legs. Okay? Yeah, and you've got all those lines going down, 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 the top Swimming half, that right? Area. And then your pretty pant is the showstopper. Even with the zip detail at the bottom, it's just it's that just extra thing to say, hey, yeah. look at this. I've got to say, a button-through shirt is probably your thing if you're an apple. I you know, agree. don't want to have a big, massive nothing in the middle there. I it's totally nice agree. to add something there. Yes. Now we've got our everyday shirt. The other one that would be great is the Dina blouse. But if you had, if you couldn't pick between the two, I feel like the everyday way. shirt. And like I can talk forever about this shirt. It is the it's best, favorite. best, it's best, favorite. best. And I think it's because when she was pregnant, she wore it every day. Every oh. day, and I didn't throw it out at the end. All my other clothes got the it. I love it, love it, love it. So we'll keep going here because we still need this pants. We haven't finished the group yet. Another thing that I thought I'd introduce here, I think. Is something like this where you've got again a bit of a slimming line up the top and look at those pants doesn't it look nice I've so added this cami because it's a bit of length because I know I'm thinking of Bron at the moment where she <laughs> needs a bit of uh, length there but if, if you're a shorty you don't need that yeah. if you're a shorty like us you don't need that yeah great that's nice I isn't love it? the cape oh, and the yeah, cape's really so good cool. as well because it's not structured around the armhole so you can wear a blouse this blouse is a bit of a drop shoulder it doesn't interfere with wearing a jacket, so the cape's a really good option. I love a black cape with a white shirt. So Gorgeous. smart. Gorgeous. So smart. And then you could do, even even if you did a black cami, whoops, whoops. a black Sorry. cami underneath this shirt, had your black and white check pants. Like, how stylized is that? If you're yeah, a black and white, white girl, so I don't nice. have one, but it'd be lovely. Yeah. Okay, so hold those out there, because we've still got more to come. Yes, Jane, I got my normal size in the everyday shirt. You can very easily size down because it's quite sizeless. The only thing that matters is that little bit of the arm. And again, they're still very loose, so you could easily get away with anything. But if you, I know, Jane, you're in between the two sizes, go for a 12. But if you're this always just... 14, go a 14. But honestly, it wouldn't even matter. It doesn't matter. See, look how big it is. There's no size. Give you a bit of an idea. Yeah. So it's only tight. It's only restricted in that part of the sleeves. There could be any size there. Easily, easily any size. Okay, so let's get back to this. This is another, these two pieces are fabulous for pear shape. It's got that, that arched hem there where you can do the front tuck if you want to or leave it out because that's again very slimming. And of course this cardigan over the top gives you that shape. I was going to do those pants. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I think this is actually, this top is probably one of the other real winners for an apple shape because of this line. Mm. It might be, is it easy? Oh yeah, you can see it. I think you can see it. Yeah, 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 you can see it. It's like a flange that so you can actually wear a pant with no front tuck or you can use the bottom of this to do a bit of a front tuck or a side tuck up to you. This is very relaxed and easy. You can kind of do whatever you want. Yes, that's right. Really nice. And, okay, that's pretty simple for well, that. Well, you can do that. You can even do yeah, that. I was going to take that off and try something else. It's probably nice to just have a look at something else here. So if you're not as tall um, as you, you, you know, for that jacket, you can still wear the shorts. Oh, maybe I'll keep this one. You can still wear the slightly shorter jacket, which is more for shorts. I'm just trying to cover everybody here. Mm. Yeah, nice. nice. Now, even if you wanted to wear this, this is a really great, like, summer weight cardigan. You can wear this over here. You know in summer, when it, well, look, in Melbourne, I can't speak for any other places. I'm not that lucky to live in the sunshine state. But if you want to wear, like, a cami during the day, well, I might be, why not? Yes. <laughs> I threaten Mum to say I'm moving to Queensland. They keep not. threatening me they're going to move to Queensland, and I'm going to think... What am I going to do <laughs> We're that? Not, here? We're not moving We're to pieces. <laughs> um, so if you want to wear a cami during the day or whatever, this is a great one to throw on at night because it's really, it's really, really short. Like oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Might be helpful. Just give them a, a, a bit of an idea. This is a great I hot place. Is, you know, a great place for an outfit if you live in a hot place. Look at that. That's so stylish, isn't it? So nice. Because this is really, really lightweight. You can kind of see. See, you can slightly see us through it. Just to give you an idea of how thin and soft and stretchy it is. Okay, and I also wanted to say that you can, the belly dress is the style that suits everybody. And the, the uh, great legs can also wear this now that we've discovered you can do a knot. 
Okay? Absolutely. So I pick that out. And you know what? I definitely pop a pant. Yeah, that's the secret to it. For you girls, you'd have to do the fancy pants you under it because it needs that extra attention down there, whereas yeah. we don't have to do that. Because you can balance it. So you can see this go. dress. This dress is tall suits ladies. Faye being a column. It's so typical of a, of a pair. But we're also showing you how to wear it as an apple. So this is one of those things that this is why it's so popular. I mean, that's that's what it is. When it suits a whole range of body shapes, then you know it's yeah, it's it, gone. It goes. You know. Yeah. Just looking at Laura's comments, I'm not sure what it relates to in the silky. Oh yes, it could relate to the camis, the silky in a, a, as a 12 and a 10 in the stretchy jersey. Yes, you could do that because the jersey is a lot stretchier. We can talk about that when we get the jersey pieces coming through. I just want to show, if you do a knot, because you want to really hitch up that side so you can show a bit more leg. That's the example of how that's going to be. That's right. Mm -hmm. You just want to show more leg. Absolutely. Nice. All right, um, so that is our, is that our apple capsule? I think that's the apple capsule. So yes, that is the it. apple capsule. Amazing. So can you put the cardi on, um, please, the blue one? Sure can. Why not? Is there anything else? Did we miss yeah, if we're missing wrong? stuff, guys, let us know. It's better for us to do it within this rather than do it later, and then I can't find the comment, and I don't know where to put it, and blah, blah, blah. So this cardi is over the top of my very puffy sleeve, and you can see how it's just relaxed. Well, it's great. You can't even tell. It's a nice look, love. So this is a 10. I actually really like this cardi with my yeah, outfit. It's, it's quite cool, cool yeah. It's really nice. I love a long cardi with a baggy collar. So really easy. Look. look at that. What you're wearing is a typical column look. Very stretchy, mate. Okay. It's very stretchy. Am I just doing the column look every day? Yes, you are. I didn't even know it's so many people. It's... Now I do. Now you do. Okay. All right, yeah, this is a good one. Oh, I like this cardi. It's a good one. Is that one going to have to come okay, back? I just want to make sure we don't miss anything else. If Someone's asked to try on. Okay, thank you. So we move on from the from the, uh, from the great apple. legs. From great legs. Great legs. Okay, now we come up to. What size black dress does the lady have on? Okay, the lady. Has size. I have a, I have a size eight. Yeah. So I'm not really a lady, actually. I don't know if I'm a lady. What are you? A bit too bowed to be a lady. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> What a, yeah, just she. Just what does she. Sheila have on? Sheila, that's it. I want to be yeah. a Sheila. I'm the yeah. lady. Oh, you're the lady? I'm definitely the lady. <laughs> okay. I am, even my friends call me the fan, like fancy because I am, I'm, trust me, if I could just have my way, everything would be so fancy and opulent. I just, yes. I'm in on that. I don't she do really the rough again. I'm, I'm, I'm not well, a rough Yeah, those things don't, yeah, I don't really I care like about luxury. I just care about my wardrobe, actually. Obviously. Anyway, okay, okay so, so I'm wearing the eight. eight and I am an eight, probably a little, and I'm only... Five foot, five foot tall. So I've got my great big four inch heels on, which gives me a little bit more height. So I'm kind of getting closer to average height. Um, if I undo the knot, it's quite a long dress, but it looks good actually. Even undone, um, but I just love the knot now. Yeah, I love the knot. <clears throat> All right, awesome. Um, oh, Faye, Faye's wearing the crew now. Oh, um, bronze got it. Awesome. Okay, now let's move on to the hourglass. So Marilyn Monroe, that shape. Okay, so. Yeah, this is the hot waistline. You know, we want you to focus on what your best feature is. So if you're an hourglass, you're probably pretty generous up here and pretty generous here. But if you're not, whatever it is, you've got your best feature is your waistline. You need to show it off and you probably feel comfortable when you show it off. Mm. So we've picked out a few pieces that will do that. So we'll start, start with the pants. pants. Yeah, start with the pants. There we go. The pant is the piece, isn't it? And okay. actually, I'm not an hourglass, and I love this pant. This pant creates an hourglass, is what we say, because of the buckle in the centre. That really makes it perfect. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the pant fits in a very similar way to the one I'm wearing, but this is the long length. So if you've got long legs and you're tall, this pant is awesome. Look, with my four inch heels, and this is a little bit higher than what you'd normally wear it. Okay. So that's where right down there. It fits it touches the standard, ground. Standard yeah. height. Yeah, it's standard height for five foot six ladies. I love this pant. And we have this pant, don't we? I've got every colour. I think I've got every colour yeah, too. Except colors. the navy, I'm putting the navy now. Okay, yeah. so we'll start with something. Shall we start with... Yeah, right. Alright, so this is our femme blouse. Now this blouse is really good because it's slightly shorter than our others. Now you know you can front tuck all the others. So again, this is just an example to show you. But this is really great because you definitely want to do that front tuck. If you've got a little waist, you want to be showing that off. Well, I'm thinking that this lady can probably actually tuck it in all the way around if you want to. She can, but I'm not sure that's so stylish. Mm. I've just got this feeling that it's a bit out. Oh, I don't know. I tried it the other day. It depends. Oh, did it work? Yeah, I suppose it depends. It depends on your age. I really does. still think it's a lot more stylish to just have a half tuck. But you, what you could do is do the full half tuck here, 
I just let it hang at the back. At the back. Yeah, yeah. So, so it'll be a little bit more than what Lauren has. So it'll be like this, yeah? So you show a little bit more of a tiny waist. That's really what we're talking about. And then about you have it long at the back because that's what's trendy. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. that piece hanging down the back. And yeah. you'll be showing your, your buckle, which is fabulous. It's a fabulous mix, by the way. This Amazing. Yellow with the navy. I love pink and navy. How good's that? And the big gold. And the thing about this pant is, I think she's got that gold buckle. Whether or not you're an hourglass, the gold buckle actually creates even more of an hourglass. It does. It just creates that illusion. That's Definitely. why we um, uh, do these things when, when we're designing. And this looks fabulous with the sleek cardi. Now, I actually, in my mind, I was going to do something else with the sleek cardi, and I may do it with the pink. But anyway, just having this column effect and showing off your waist with this buckle and just flicking this to the side, I think is very flattering for you. Absolutely. Actually, the pink Cisco could look really good with this outfit. Can we put we it out? Oh, we have this. And it will, because it'll give you the waist. But this is where I think this is really a bit more of a uh, probably you know, want to do it up. Bit. You probably want to do it up, and Absolutely. then don't show that buckle. So up to you when you put it on to see which one makes you look uh, a little bit more hourglass. Awesome. Thank you. All right, so then we're still going to use this pant, but really an hourglass. You, you probably can wear a lot of pants, but probably what you want to do is wear something a little bit high-waisted yes. because you want to show off that waist. Yeah, so don't wear a, ha a pant that's down low on your hips and then wear a big bag at the top and you're not showing the best part of you. That's it. The if worst, you feel like it. Yeah, the worst thing an hourglass could do is just have something big and floaty and, I don't know, printed pant, a big loose top, and you're not showing the waistline, so we have to really teach you to show that waistline. Yeah, so that's why we're showing you the high-waisted pants, and my pant is the same. We've got the collot version and the long version. These are definitely for you. Okay. This is, oh, I'll the pants out. This is quite pretty. Again, you do, you do the front tuck, and you can show yourself off that way. I think that's quite pretty for an hour. Really right? pretty, I love that. And again, if you didn't like the pink, this tape also comes in the black. You do the black, you could show the pink enough. flowers, and then we've also got this pant in black, which would look awesome. Am I showing you some of these things up close enough? I don't know, I feel like we're rushing through it a bit. I think because we're at Silly Friday, that's why. <laughs> so, um, you know what though, this pant also comes, oh, the oh, black's in another done. area, but this comes in black. So if you want to do a black jacket, black pant, and then a white shirt, that's suddenly your edgy town. Or you, I mean, you could go classic or you could go super edgy because you would totally do that. Yeah, I absolutely would. Yes. Now, I love this look. This has got the, oh, I forget what this is called. The um, Avery. The Avery, which has got that really cinching look under the bust. The not right for it, though. Oh, it will be right. No, it just hangs by. It is right. So, you're going to do the front tuck front here. Front tuck doesn't work with this. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, don't do the front tuck. Do it like this. Only because I tried right it the other day. It. I actually tried it the other day, so I know it's it been complicated. I'm sorry. I don't just want to go and try the front tuck. Okay, don't do the front We're tuck. We're just going to do a different pant for now, this one. I reckon the front tuck, I reckon that pant would be perfect with this. Without the front tuck? Without the front tuck, okay. yeah. Accepted. Okay. So we can, we can have these tips. That's another okay. order. Yeah, that's okay. We can make it work. Well, I love the fact that this jacket instantly gives you a waistline. So you can do it whoever you are. But for the waist, for the um, uh, hot waist chick, we should call it a chick, shouldn't we? Uh, it looks fantastic. And I like this pant because it's quite big and floaty there. It comes in here and then it's got that gathered, that, a few tucks on the shoulder, which is instantly an hourglass. Let's go up close. See that? So it actually does give you, oh, can't see much there. It actually gives you an instant hourglass. Mm -hmm. I think but, but you, don't, here you right. don't need to show off that buckle, I suppose, because you're using the jacket and the no, cinch. Take, take that's the creating off. your That's right, you take the belt off. Even, and you can still do. So even if this outfit was on me, and no, I'm, no, let's, 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 let's pretend that look like, I look like an hourglass. How good is it with the light pants? Oh, I love brilliant. the pink and the That's eye. a great outfit. Great leg, I can see you in this outfit. This is a great outfit, yes. And you want show with the hot legs, still creating so nice an hourglass shape. I mean, an hourglass doesn't have to wear neutrals all the time. A fancy pant which suits everybody here, except maybe, well, even the pear shape, everyone can wear them. Just yeah, every, everyone can definitely wear them. Put them put together. Yeah. This is a fabulous outfit. I love this combination. Yeah, I love this. This set is like perfectly matched. I love the sharp angles with the really feminine sort of floaty top underneath. Okay, now I've got the belt there. And what I was going to do, okay, hear me out, Lauren. This is a tough one. Oh, no. Yes, it's not a tough one. one. I only know, I know a lot about this top because you try it's it. a bit more limiting to my front tucking and I can't do it. But a really, really tight pair of pants with this top, not front tucked, is hot. Okay. Like this, take this. So hot. Trust me. Just okay. trust me. All right, well, we'll do that. I still want to try it with that. Okay, no, you can do that. Can do that. 
Okay, you hold that and put this belt over the top. Now, this is what I want to do just for the hourglass ladies because it's only specific to you ladies. What you would do is actually have your, I think that somewhere there, have your, oh, can I do this? You know what, I'll put it on. Do you yeah. mind? I'll put it on because it's sort of too hard. I'll just put the cardi on and I'll show you what I mean. You know what, I'm not even going to show you in that colour because it doesn't go with my outfit and you won't notice it. I don't want to fumble because this is a great look for the hourglass ladies. I'm putting this cardigan on just so that you know. You can do it. Have it there and then. Now normally this is a no-no, but hourglasses can get away with it. It's just not much else can get away with can this. I see it in the mirror? Although if it works for you, you're a column. And as a column, you could actually do it also. So I'm going to show you how thick my waist is now, but this will make my waist actually come in quite a bit. Because it's got the black, you've got the the the, um, the mocker on the outside, so suddenly you, this part's disappearing. This is an extra large belt, I'll just put it out there, so I'm going to have a whole lot hanging down. But look at that. If you have got a, a really nice waistline, okay, if you have a really nice waistline, you could do that, because all of a sudden, you're creating that hourglass look. I think you are, am I? Yeah, I love this. I oh, yeah. think this is amazing. That's a big one of the other big trends is wearing a belt over the top of your jacket and your cardies. And not too many of these shapes can do that well. No. I mean, we can be in columns. Our glass can certainly do it. I don't know if anyone else can pull off. No. Maybe a pair. Maybe a pair. Maybe a pair. That's but right. This is just superb. Yeah, absolutely superb. Or if you can't do this, don't. I mean, it's not really my shape. Don't forget. Don't turn because I've got that thick waist. You don't have to do it, you can just do it like this. But I just want to say that the the, the waistline has to be featured. A belt is always And you could even do the belt underneath the cardi, so you're belting the dress. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, even still, look, I'm, not, I'm I mean, really not that keen on doing if you are with a dress an hourglass, okay. If you're an hourglass, you would do this, but what I don't like is this dress without a jacket with a belt. No. I've got to say, because no. I know we said no belts before. You could do this and look quite classy. Oh, I won't bother doing the whole thing with the belt. Because then you're, all your attention's going to your waist. Actually, Just anyone could try to nice. do this look because with the car, you're yeah, hiding you what's on the outside. Yeah, you can. You yeah. can. I mean, if I had a fancy buckle, I didn't grab the fancy one. It gives you a nice... A idea. special buckle, yes. A yeah. fancy, a brighter buckle would be better. That's right. But really, what we're talking about, the hourglass, flaunt your waistline, one way or another. All right, so is that done? I is that the hourglass? Done. And look, the hourglass is one of those things, look, it's very, it is a bit similar to the column, they're not that different. So everything we've shown for the column is also for the hourglass, and everything that we're talking about with the hourglass easily they tends mix, to be... Yeah, they, they all mix very well, well, actually. Yeah. They all mix very well. Samantha, that milk mm. is stretchy. Super, super stretchy. You tool that end. There we are. So it's so it's super comfortable. Super comfortable. Anyone yeah, can put it anywhere. Yeah, and and often also, if you're not an hourglass, you can actually wear it a bit lower on the hips as well because that's something that apples can do. Apples will wear it. It's not going to go with that. That's right. Oh, hang on. And we'll just do this. So many of our staff do this as well, and and it looks amazing. So if you've got a bit of put around here, this is what you do. You want to pull it tight too, because it kind of holds you in in all the right places. Probably a bit low now, probably have to pull up a bit. And because look, because I'm short, it's not looking that great low. There you go. So you do that and then you do that. See what I mean? So you're hiding what's going on out here because my my ledge is all the way out here. I can feel it bulging out. But you don't know that, see? It's all tricks, smoke and mirrors. So then you've just got that belt here and a lot, a lot of our staff do this. It looks really funky the way they do it. And they're they're all a range of different shapes. So you can do a belt like this. We just haven't yeah, wear some of your necklaces. The necklaces do a different thing, and that's like a different topic, so we won't bother doing them today. We'll do that another time. All right, so we're on to the lucky last. last. So this is the strawberry shape. Again, we didn't name it these names. It's just what Too we awkward. found online. Yeah, so it's a wow bus line. So if you've got fantastic boozies, carry a bit of weight up the top here. Broad, broad shoulders. Broad shoulders, mm -hmm. this is for you. If you've got a swimmer's body, Swimmer's body. Yes. Swimmer's body. Yep. Swimmer's body. Yeah. Because a lot of people are very broad in the shoulders, but yes. everything else is just normal. You know, it's just your shoulders that tend to, that you're conscious of. When you put something on, you go, oh, do my shoulders look big? That's so right. this top so is, is probably not for you. You're, yeah, that's right. You're not featuring that at all. They would never wear this. I don't think you'd wear that. But you know what? But if you like it, you would. 
If you like it, you would, but you just have to do it differently. You'd probably wear that in black with a bright bottom on the bottom because that's how you do it. You take the emphasis off here and bring the emphasis here. Yeah, absolutely. That's what you want to do. So printed pants, light pants, yeah. all this is a feature, printed skirts and all that, and then you do uh, something more neutral up here and darker. Absolutely. Now, someone just asked, what shape is good for the biker jacket? And oh, here da, we are. Da, 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 da. This is the one. You know what? But all of them will go. I think they I will, will all yeah. go with the biker. I mean, this is how we design. I don't want to put you in a box, ladies. Please understand, everything goes for everybody. It's just the way you put it together. So, of course, the, bo the biker goes with everything. Goes with everything. I'm the column. They'll all go. They'll all go. Everybody. I think the biker is one of those jackets that goes with every single body type because it's one of our most popular styles so again we've got it here but it looks awesome on me it looks awesome on fat it looks great on pear shapes because there's all the jazz up here yeah. can i just say for the pear shapes though because you want to balance yourself up you'd wear uh maybe a darker color down here and something a bit lighter up here whether it be with your biker or the top you probably would have done a color in this beautifully and because you've got all the detail on this all the gold it sort of gives you that bit of wow factor Regardless, you know what I mean? It's not it's not just a plain black little jacket. Like if you're a pear Hang on, is my thought process happening right? Pear, dark at the bottom, brighter on top. That's right. Yes, if you're a pear, you're not gonna wear a really, really basic, basic little black jacket. Like I think that's probably not that's what, what you want to don't want to do, like a little yes. blazer or just you wanna wear something with a bit of jazz. That's right, right? Just basic black up the top. Uh-uh. Yeah, you wanna reverse it. it. You just wanna reverse it. Mm. All right, awesome. So I'll take this off and then we can actually get started. Okay, well this is, oh, well we should start with the bottom, shouldn't we? So we want all the emphasis on the legs again because, oops, wrong way around, anything with a fancy bottom, we've actually picked out two pants here. I think we've picked out, oh no, One extreme out the to the other. Yes, so it's about the wide neck, which gives you a lot of emphasis because it's got that wide floaty thing, yes, as well right. as a pattern. So it doesn't matter what pattern. That's just right. Picking out a printed pant. Absolutely, right? and the wide leg gives you the balance. It balances out your shoulders, which are quite broad, or the print just says, "Woohoo! Look at me! Look at me! I'm down here!" Yeah. And that kind of balances. So I'll just hold that there. That is a great outfit for the pear shape because we've got light making this a bit bigger and making this a bit smaller, even though they're big pants. You know, bit, we're talking about the pear. The yeah, that's what the better. Pick that yes, out because yes, I just yes. saw that. But with the strawberry, we want to make sure that we have darker up here. This is where you put the bike up. Like, I'll just, if you just hold that, show it. I'll maybe stick to that pant. If Lauren just had, okay, hang on on the back. See, all of a sudden, this is much, this, this is, is the go. Yeah, if, you, if, you, if you're a strawberry, this is perfect. 100%. A bit more emphasis like this. Mm -hmm. So this brings it in, still has a beautiful line down the front and, and highlights your face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely do a strong contrast That's underneath. Right, just underneath. Because your biker jacket's already creating those lines. So when someone looks at you, they look at this little gap that's here. Then you've got these big floaty pants saying, hey, wow, look at me. Great outfit. Like mine. Like this is an awesome, awesome outfit. Awesome outfit. I love the biker. Now that biker that I just tried on, Laurie, was a size 8. I, I've got the jacket and I personally bought a 10. It was comfortable, the it was fine, but I, you can probably go your normal size. If your normal size isn't there, you could easily size down. Okay, this is the 8 on me and I'm normally an 8. Yeah. And I did buy the 8. Yeah. I was happy with the 8. Yeah, I bought the 10. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so awesome. just go your size. And they're very okay. stretchy in any case. Okay, so we've done that. So okay, so you can see how you can do the print pan or just a special. You want. You want the jazz to be down here, or you want it to be louder than whatever the top is that you're wearing. So again, this is a fairly neutral look. This is our Dove Silky Blogger, which we said before. Again with the biker. Love that. That is just such a stylish and look. And in this oh case, what, and for, you, for the ladies that have a lot of emphasis up the top, like the apple and the strawberry, just the two of you, this is the, this is the person that really needs to juice up their feet. You've got to make your feet stand out because what you're trying to do is still balance it. So if you wear plain black with this outfit, you're kind of getting almost out of balance and you're saying there's something wrong but I don't know why. It's because of that. Oh. If you have bright red shoes or printed shoes or something, a printed boot mm. or a stylized boot, it's perfect. Or even just a metallic, you know, metallic's always yeah, going to shine. It just stand out. Something that like that. It Love just that. jumps out yeah. and will balance you again. And look, in general, and there's always an exception, right? But in general, the strawberry probably won't wear a statement necklace because that's bringing all the jazz up top where your shoulders are. Yeah. What you're going to wear, though, is, you know, a, a 
we were talking about chain belts before. Chain belts are coming really in fashion. Oh, a chain belt. With a, a chain belt. That's what we're going to see. We don't have them to show you, but no, you know what I mean. So use the jazz on your toes rather than up the top. Can I just say something? Occasionally, I see an angry face floating up. Is that because we're saying something you don't like? Oh. Let me know. Or was it just a mistake in pressing oh, the wrong I button? Didn't oh, I hope we didn't say something you didn't like. We try and not offend anybody, but you never know. Friday, we might look. We're going to say what we're going to say. It's going to come out. It's just going to come out. Okay. So right, awesome. Yes. I love this outfit. You know what? And you I'm going to get wear it. I'm going to get tight. I've got most of it. I just need to get it's the shirt hot. and only came in yesterday. So yeah, I'm hot. getting this outfit and I'm going to rock it. And I'm a column. So there you go. And break the strawberries. Okay, so we'll keep going with this. Keep okay, is there anything else? Well, probably. Well, I'm maybe just with this. Mm, or we can do them all with the gingham. Let's I'm going to put these pants away now because I want to show you a bit of jazziness. Yeah, right? let's do it with the gingham because this is pretty cool. So, we, oh yes, now this is something that's really cool. Now I know you think this shape, how can it fit this shape? But it's going to be tight up here, but this is where you zhuzh it up by putting a knot and having a printed pant down here. Okay. Because that's going to balance you up. Hang on, do you want me to do that? Let's do the knot and we'll oh, come right. up close. Yes. We promised we would. Okay. Alright, so what you want to do is get one of the seams at the pocket. See, there's a pocket in that seam, and you just hold it there, and you do this. And you just knot it like a normal, like you'd knot anything, and you do it really tight. What I do is tuck it back under there. Oh, you tuck it in there. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I just sense. tuck it in there. Yeah, great. And it's really simple, and it gives you a beautiful, can I leave it like that? You can, I, I approve. Okay, tick. look at that. It's a really nice knot, I and it just hangs up. down. And all it does is do, like, as you can see in my dress, it just lifts it up so you can see a bit of leg, but for you, you need to show a and bit you can do the stuff down if, there. If you want the, the, the dress to be a bit shorter, you just do a bigger, bulkier knot. Do you want me to do a bigger, bulkier knot? Yeah, you can. I like. I love a bit of a bulky knot. Okay, let's do a bigger, bulkier knot. Oh, baby's baby's away. Oh yeah, we've got it. Got something to pound. Okay, so you don't grab that much. You grab a bit more. That's right. And you do a real chunky. It's just got more fabric in there. And then you just fold it round. And then you just fold it round. Well, keep practicing because I know a lot of you have said that your knot knot doesn't look like ours. But it, it will look it like will. ours, you just, just got to practice. There. there you go. That's still a nice knot. Totally. That's a bigger knot. And then what you want to do, yeah, definitely put your legs on. For this shape, you need to flat. You want, you want to bring the eye down around your legs again. And you know what would be even better is, remember the other day when I had this dress on with my collots? Now, I'm oh, a collot, yes. normally it would not suit yes. me being and short. Fabulous. It looked awesome. Those collots. So if you are a strawberry, this sort of an outfit is great for you because all that jazz is down there. You've got your knot which draws attention, you've got your contrast band, your pant which draws attention, your shoes, and your top is very simple. And we can still do this under that, right? Absolutely. So you've got that volume. I mean, Absolutely. black, navy, ivory, whatever. Navy was well amazing print, with yellow. All those things are perfect. Definitely. Definitely. So nice. Love that. And then, if you want to add a black jacket, it's instantly slimming down those shoulders. Which is exactly what it's meant to do. See? Hundred percent. This is how it all works. You're probably saying, oh yeah, of course. <laughs> this is how you become a fashionista. Anne Marie, you're saying should an apple biker lot wouldn't it hide their best feature? No, it wouldn't, because you're actually showing off your best feature by wearing a really baggy pant. Look everyone, a baggy pant isn't hiding your legs, it's actually saying look at my legs. Because, because when you're walking, you can, volume down there. You can see you don't stand like this all day. If I stand like this all day, you don't know how big, little, long, short my legs are, right? But we're usually moving all day. You can see legs in there. It's so just creating a tension down there. That's what we're doing. Mm. Yeah. How good is this outfit? Gorgeous. This, I actually, I wore this basically the yeah, other day. Yeah, so right. I've you got did. a you secret did. affiliation with it. Okay. All right. So we'll put that there. Let's get out these pants again. Now, this shape here is the epitome of your shape. Okay? So you do that. It just hugs over the shoulder. There's no armhole. There's no normal arm um, seam. So it doesn't matter where your shoulders come. And just wear it with your fancy pants because that's perfect for your shape. And what I would do here actually is add the belt. Which I haven't actually said much. Do you want my holding that? You could even do one of our blogger shirts underneath this jumper you could, if you want to add I'll, a bit of length. I will do that. I will do that. It's a quite a long garment anyway. But if you want to add a belt and just show the buckle, like just like I do at all. Yes, these are gingham pants, Wendy. They're going really, really well. They're so flattering on. 
Yeah, that looks great. Let's go up close, just so you can see roughly what we're trying to do. It's the worst way to do it. Hi, Stacey. I know, it is. It's sort of like you want to show about that much on this side. So yeah. you can just show that middle part, because that's drawing that attention there, and then your print pants. See how all the jazz is kind of heading down? Yeah, down you know, to your hot Down legs. to your legs. Yeah, yeah hot that's legs. it. Well, it's okay for hourglass or longer pant. Yes, absolutely. Either, it doesn't every, matter. Every, every single shape here, doesn't matter, Lisa. It will suit every single shape. It depends on how you pull it together. You know what? To make it, if you really don't know between the collot and the long pant, if you're on the shorter side, say below five foot three, let's say, maybe oh, five God. foot four, go the collot because otherwise you may have to alter the length of the other pant. The other pant is full length. I had to alter it. I had to chop like that much off it. But the collot, I haven't adjusted. But if you're tall, maybe go for the longer pant because you can. Why not? Yes, yeah, Samantha's asking if we have more collots. Yes, lots. We yeah. have some beautiful different designs. They're all different, various weights, various fabrics. You yeah, they're, hanging there. they're so different to one yeah, another. They're very different. This is our, our spring range. Absolutely. Um, okay, so just one more piece that I thought would be nice. I'm doing this with, because you still want to create a bit of a tension where your bosies are. Oh yeah, that's nice. That looks cool. And that's still showing off what's going on down there. You can do a front tuck if you like. You, you don't, don't have, have to do a front tuck. Yeah, but you don't have to. And this is a really nice shape to um, make this work. And it does work. It really it does, does work. It's and gorgeous. this doll has pockets too. So you can tuck in all the front tucked in. looks really cool. They had one the other day and totally convinced me. Otherwise, you can do a soft front tuck or leave it long. Especially if you're tall. tall. I have yeah. leaving it long yeah. as well. If you're tall, I recommend like this. And then you can wear your community you want to stop wrap some sneakers. I actually haven't used these sneakers much. I thought I'd use them quite a bit in here. Some fancy sneakers again. This is a print with a print because you want to track the tension down here. You know, there's a reason why you do these things and why you put them together. And this is one of them. I love this with it. Absolutely. Good outfit. Good outfit. Awesome. Now, the last thing maybe we can quickly show you is what this we never did this. If you oh, want yes, to add some right. length to this, yeah, just pop I'll on a bobber well. underneath. Because especially if you want to have it on the, on the back side, the front tuck looks really great with your belt. You can see how long the blogger hangs down um, from this jumper. Now, someone also asked, and it disappeared, what colour this, this is. It's a very, very light grey, um, silvery yeah. tone. Shall we compare? I'll put these away just so we can compare the whites so you can see that it's silver. See? Can you see that? Ivory, dove. Yeah, so this is the ivory, that's the dove. So you can see the difference, because otherwise it might just look like a white on the screen, actually. Yeah? Yeah. By the way, the outfit we just saw before with the blue jumper, that is the outfit for the strawberry. I reckon that's my pick of the best outfit. Yeah, absolutely. With a, a funky yeah, pant. Whether it's a bag. Doing that with all your bits, you'll always look amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, now, Pat. Now, I think that's actually your husband's name, but I don't know your name. So, hi, Pat. Pat's wife. Um, the long boot under the belly dress. Yeah, absolutely. You say yes. you can. For I sure. Will. I was tossing up whether I'd wear a long boot under this or my shorter boot. Well, that's an example of roughly, just pretend that we can't see your leg. That's an example that's of what a long boot. You would know how, how long it is. Mm, that's yeah, right. for sure. All right, fantastic. So if there's nothing else you guys want us to try on, I'll just give you a chance to see if there's something that you're spotting in the background and you're thinking, mm, yeah, yeah, maybe yes, we need to pop it out there. On. But otherwise, what we'll do at the end here is we'll put in our VIP group, we'll do a bunch of outfits. But you know what? We won't stick to the outfits that we've shown you now. Sorry, you've watched them now. We want to mix them all up because we want to show you how we can do all these, you know, different looks and how they all intertwine, etc. Jane. Hi, Jane. That's your name. Okay. I've got messages going too fast for me. Okay. No, no, okay. no trials no, yet. No trials. So we're trying. fine. Okay. okay. Well, it looks like we're done then. Are we? Or are you still waiting? Oh, hang on. Sue would like to know if everyday shirts coming in soft touch. I don't think I don't it think is. So it's coming in prints, but I don't think it's so. It's coming in prints, and it is coming in some more planes, but it's all our silky fabric rather than soft touch. The reason is that soft touch is particularly good if you need the stretch. So often we do styles that have some like. You know, if you go like that, you need a bit of stretch. Whereas the everyday shirt is one of those things that is so sizeless, you actually don't need don't it. Don't need that extra stretch. You really don't need it. Um, otherwise, I think I think also with the uh, um, everyday shirt, you need it really to collapse into your body. And I think that the silky fabric just does that that little bit better than soft touch. 
We're going to keep you slim, ladies. We're, we know what we're well, doing. Well, I mean, we're just keeping you fashionista. Mm. You know, following our brainwashing as being hourglass. I mean, it's a little bit too things. dense. Soft touch. It is dense, yes. Yeah, just so, a little bit too much. So, you know, I guess we choose what we think is cool. Is yeah. Right for. But we yeah. do have we do have an abundance coming in the soft touch. Heidi, you're going to have a soft touch wardrobe. You, you've got no idea how much soft touch. It's all for you, Heidi because you said you liked it, so now we've got bucket loads, but coming all the way through summer, so not, not tomorrow, it'll be all towards the end of the year when summer really hits. Um, this is the size 10, somebody asked me, the name's already disappeared now, so the slinky a size 10. In fact, most of it, nearly everything is a size 10, except for the odd thing that was a size 8. And we would have mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so soft touch creases, less than silk, yes, it doesn't really crease at all. Well, the silky, there's, there's no, a silk. Oh, silk, yes. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, our fabrics don't um, crush, crush very much. You, maybe a quick steam if it's been folded for a long time, but it, you don't need to iron them. Okay, we're going too fast. I know, oh, they're, 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 they're whipping through, aren't they? Okay, I think we've missed a bunch. Sorry, yeah, we'll, miss, we'll have to get to you when we go back to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually okay. a 10, should I buy a 10 in the Bella? Yes, Stacey, yes, you should. Stick to your size. Just stick to your size. You know, Lauren yeah. has a 10, she wears a 10. You know what? Always just stick to your size. But if your size isn't there and you really want it, sometimes yeah, you can go down or up. Oh, there's an angry face again. Can somebody tell me why? No, an well, face. someone said they accidentally hit it. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, black Bella black dress can you wear for summer? Yes, absolutely. It's a very this light weight. It's a cotton blend. Well, it's, a, it's like a cotton fabric, but a stylish cotton fabric. Gee, it's hard to see, isn't it? But it's very lightweight. It's, you know... I'm going to wear it in summer. I'm just going to roll the sleeves up and feel fantastic. 100%. And it's very airy. I probably won't wear pants under it, but uh, you could. You can wear yeah, white, pants up there. white pants under this would be amazing in yeah, summer. Yeah, would be amazing. With sandals, very strappy sandals. Really nice. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. All right, awesome. Okay. Thanks for oh, watching, guys. Yes, yeah, so today was good. We'll have you on board and we'll see you on Monday with our next capsule. Next capsule. We're going to be excited. And yeah, we'll always have a hard day. Okay. All, All right, right, ladies, awesome. bye for now. Bye, everyone. Bye.